What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive VGC double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shine and Pearl. In today's video, we're going to be using a Pokemon that has probably been the most requested in my BDSP videos, which is Polyrath. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds out of your day just to scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. It really goes a long way. Want to give a huge shout out to all my subscribers. You guys are really helping me grow as a content creator. So again, big thank you to you guys. But we are using Pyrath right here, and it is such a cool Pokemon. It really is such a cool Pokemon. It's typing, it's water and fighting, and its design is phenomenal. Just look at him. Big beefy boy with some big fists. He looks exactly like like what else would a water and fighting type look like it looks perfectly to its typing right its design looks perfect to its typing we gave it the life orb as its item its ability is going to be swift swim so it can double its speed in the rain and then eevee's first pokemon are fairly normal it is maxed out in attack and we put a bunch in speed and then a little bit in hp we didn't max out the speed because it's already going to be too fast in the swift swim or in the rain with the swift swim so we so we put a bit in hp so you know it can be a bit more bulkier we didn't need to invest it all in speed Move set for this guy is phenomenal. We have Waterfall for Stab, Drain Punch for Stab and HP Recovery, and we got Bulk Up to set up that Attack and Defense boost and Protect for its fourth and final move. Really cannot wait to get this Pokemon out there and rock out with it. Second Pokemon on today's team is going to be Poly Polyrath's best friend. It is Pelipper over here. It has Scald, Hurricane, Roost, and Protect. Its ability is obviously going to be Drizzle to set that Rain and help that Swift Swim Polyrath outspeed Pokemon. And then item for this guy is going to be that Citrus Berry, to make it get some more HP when it falls below half. Third Pokemon on the team is going to be Scissor, another heavy hitter just like Polyrath. We gave it the Metal Coat because, you know, we gave the Life Orb to Politoed, or not Politoed, Polyrath, and then uh, its ability is going to be Technician, alongside with the moveset of X Scissor, Bull Punch, Sword Stance, and Protect. Fairly normal Scissor build, it just works so well, you can't go wrong with it. Fourth Pokemon on today's team is going to be Raichu, and I feel like you cannot have a rain team without a lightning rod Pokemon. So Raichu really fits the spot really well. It's got Fake Out, it's got Nuzzle for flinches, both switch to Pivot Out, it's also rocking Brick Break to Break screens, and then it's got that lightning rod ability alongside with the Focus Sash as its item. Fifth Pokemon on the team is going to be Garchomp. We added another heavy hitter, so we got Polyrath, Scizor, and Garchomp for big physical attackers. This thing has the Yachi Berry alongside with the Rough Skin ability. And then moveset is fairly normal. You guys seen this a ton. Sword Sands, Protect, EQ, and Dragon Call. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be a nice little special attacker slash support Pokemon. It's Togekiss over here. Really cannot go wrong with Togekiss, one of the best Pokemon in BDSP. It's got Dazzling Gleam, it's got Air Slash, Protect, and Follow Me, Super Luck as his ability, and then obviously it is rocking the scope points to boost its critical hit ratio a little bit more. But guys, there's the Polyrath team. Let's hop into the Coliseum. Let's grab some wins with it. Hopping into our first battle for today's video, and we are going to lock in Politoed. We're well, not Politoed, Polyrath. I'm going to say Politoed a lot because I'm so used to using Politoed, and I never get to really use Polyrath, but we're going to be using Polyrath in this battle here. But I don't know if I should lead it with the Pelipper or lead a Pokemon like Raichu because Intimidate could really do me dirty. So I could lead Raichu, fake out, and kind of go into maybe like Togekiss and predict the, uh, you know, the him on top lead. It could definitely be an option. So I'm kind of leaning towards that. So let's go Raichu. Let's go Tokus. Let's bring Polyrath in the back end. And then do we bring Pelipper? And Pelipper could get some work done. I kind of do like Pelipper here. I mean, I could go Pelipper and Polyrath. Or I could go Pelipper and Raichu and maybe just full switch out. Well, that might be a little bit better. Because Pelipper could just land that Hurricane onto it. I really do like that. So we're going to go Pelipper. We're going to go Raichu. We're going to bring Polyrath in the back end. I just really don't want to be intimidated, you know? I'm going to be Pelipper, Raichu, Pyrath, and then last but not least, we go Scizor, Garchomp, or Togi. Scizor, Garchomp, or Togi. Garchomp's looking pretty good here. Super effective onto that, uh, onto that Latios, onto that Heatran, and it can do some damage. I just got to watch out for that, obviously, that Articuno and those. Where do I go Togi? Togi's not too shabby here. I think I'm just going to go Garchomp. Garchomp or Scizor? I think we need more attack power, so I'm going to go Garchomp here. I'm gonna go Garchomp. I'm gonna lock it in. I'm gonna lock it down. We're gonna look to grab ourselves a win here. Battle. So let's try to get this Polyrath. But yeah, he's definitely gotta lead the him on top, right? Him on top's gotta come out here. Yeah, so there's him on top. You could definitely set up a tail with the Latios. A lot of options here. Definitely a lot of options. Um, I feel like at this point we could just go into a fake out onto the him on top and Hurricane at the same time. Right? Because if we don't fake it out, it's gonna fake us. And if I get rid of that, I mean, I could bring in Swift Swim Poly to any kind of way. But he's going to intimidate me. I'm cool with that. I can start nuzzling next turn as well. But do we think he hard swaps? Maybe the, the hit on top? I don't really think so. 
He could, but I just don't, I just don't think he has the moxie to do it. I'm going to stick with my original plan. I'm going to go Hurricane into Fake Out. I'm going to say this hit on top does not have the moxie to swap. And if he swaps, he's probably swapping into Heat, right? Right, because Heatran would be the Pokemon to soak this up. But then we just scald it next turn. I mean, we have options here. We definitely have options. But I'm kind of scared of the Latios here. Latios is definitely one of those Pokemon that can do a lot of work. So Latios, just calm down. Maybe Latios protect. And then withdraw. Come on. Now, I just said he doesn't have the Moxie though. Is it Heatran? Is it Heatran? Gonna be, oh, I'm, I'm cool with Jump Bluff coming in here. I'm totally cool with Jump Bluff coming in here. I'm definitely cool with that. He's going to use a Psychic here. Psychic is going to go into Raichu. It's going to bring us down to three. And this thing's going to show that's order. So now with that... We're gonna go into a hurricane. This should take out Jump Bluff, right? We do not take out Jump Bluff. Can we get the Ducks though? We get the Ducks, which is beautiful. So now I can nuzzle into Latios, and I kind of like that turn a tad bit better. Just a tad bit better. So I'm gonna nuzzle into you just to slow you down. And I think I might just Scald into the slot. Or do I Hurricane? I mean, I think Hurricane's gonna be the better play. I'm just gonna Hurricane here. Jump Bluff might be able to outspeed the Pelper, but I feel like Raichu can outspeed the Latios and nuzzle it to make the Pelper go next. That could be a solid turn for us. That could be a solid turn for us. But he has to hit on top in the back. I kind of want to force him on top in and then bring out Polyrath. Because Polyrath can get some work done. What's this thing going for? Is it going to kill itself in confusion? It does. That is a beautiful turn. Oh, it doesn't kill itself. But it'll... did like it. Why did it do so little damage? That's fine. Nuzzle comes out here. We're going to end up paralyzing this lovely little Adios. And then Pelper should go next. Beautiful. Pelper goes next. We're going to say bye-bye Jump Bluff. And we're going to hope that he, we can force out the hit on top. Because if we can force out the hit on top now, he can fake out my Raichu. We can take us out. And then I can bring in Polyrath and pretty much just start winning this battle. So the second comes in here. Who are you taking out here? He's going to take out Raichu. Oh, do I still bring out Polyrath? I mean, Polyrath wouldn't be bad, though. I feel like Polyrath would not be bad. Just to protect Polyrath this turn. Because he's going to fake out one of my Pokemon. Yeah, let's bring out Polyrath. Even though he's going to get intimidated here, I think we're fine here. He's going to send out him on top. Yep, there's him on top. We're going to send out Polyrath. And I feel like from here, we just Hurricane and we protect the uh, Polyrath. And then we roll off from there. Probably our best bet, right? Probably our best bet. So he intimidates us. All good. We're going to get some boost from the water damage. We go into Drain Punches. I can do a lot here. But again, I feel like from here, he's going to fake out my Polyrath. So I'm just going to protect. I'm just going to Hurricane straight into this thing. Where do I just stay in here? No, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna hurricane this thing. I'm gonna protect, because I feel like he could fake out and then go into, like, a psychic here as well. So let's see what he does. So we do protect. No hard swaps come out here. Polyrath is protecting. He's gonna go for the fake out. Beautiful block. Beautiful read by us. And then this thing might go into a psychic into my Polyrath. So he might just double down into us. And we bring this thing down the way. The Pelipper's doing work today. Look at that, yo. Beautiful turn from us. We have speed all day. I am going to drop a nice, lovely... I could go Drain Punch, but Waterfall would do more damage over onto this thing. Actually, do I just outspeed and get rid of this thing? I think I just outspeed, get rid of that thing, and then I just... Hmm. I mean, Pelper should outspeed it, too. I mean, we can maybe go for a Flinch Chance here. We go for the Flinch Chance here, and then with Pelper, I am just going to Scald over into the slot. So let's see how this one plays out here. So Polyrath should go first. Ends up going for a Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch is my, my Paloops. My Pelipper. Leave him alone. We go for a Waterfall. We are minus one. And that still is a nice chunk of damage. And we have a chance of flinching. We have a chance of flinching. He has a chance of being paralyzed. Pretty solid. Pelipper's going to Scald. And this battle's looking beautiful for us. We get rid of the Him on top. We get rid of the Jump Bluff. Latios is a problem. But our Guard Chomp can come in the back end now. Speed it like crazy. And this thing's paralyzed. Can't move. Love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. That's pretty much GG's, right? It seems like it's GG's. He's gonna go. Oh, he's gonna go into Heat Train. Are you protecting Heat Train? You protecting little Heat Train? Good bulk up this turn. Are you gonna protect Heat Train? I could do this and just Hurricane into that thing as well. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. You gotta protect Heat Train or you cancel battle. Yeah, you're protecting Heat Train. Poor little Heat Train. Poor little Heat Train's gotta protect. If not, Pyrath was running into it with a waterfall. Gonna run into it with a waterfall, but the rain squad dominated in this battle. Hurricane comes out here. Can this KO? It can indeed. It can indeed. So now we finally get rid of that Latios, and this battle is a wrap. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's a chicken Caesar wrap right now. But I can go for like a chicken Caesar wrap. Mmm. Mmm. Yo, chicken Caesar wrap sounds slamming. 
Sounds slamming. You know, rain is done, so I'm gonna go into a drain punch instead. Plus, the animation is 10 times cooler. But again, I think our opponent just cancels the battle, and there it is. GG's want to know to get us started. First battle went pretty well. We dominated with Polyrath and Pelper, but now we're hopping into our second battle and we got a little bit of a challenge. We're going up against a Storm Drain Gastrodon team, or I should say Storm Drain Gastrodon rain team with Kai Ogre and Palkia. Looks like a problem for us, but hopefully your boy can clutch it up and hopefully grab himself a win. I gotta go ride you. I need some type of speed control to roll out strong here and get rocking out. So I'm gonna go ride you to lead us off here. I might even go Toby Kids. I don't know if I should lead Tokus or maybe I can lead a Pokemon like Scizor. I definitely got to bring Polyrath in here. Speed control can be really nice and I can rock out with some Dream. So I'm going to go Raichu. I might even lead the Polyrath. Do I lead the Polyrath or do I bring in a Pokemon like Tokus? I could lead Garchomp. Garchomp could do rather solid. I mean, probably a lot of ice moves on this team. But I feel like if we could set up maybe like a Swords Dance here, we can potentially outspeed and kind of roll out the battle from there. What do I want to do? I could bulk up with Pyrath. That wouldn't be too bad. Um, hmm. This is tough, man. This is too tough. I hate this game. I don't like it one bit. I'm going to go with the Poly. I don't want to go with the Poly. I'm going to go with the Poly. So I'm going to go Pyrath. I'm going to go Garchomp and Togi. This one's going to be tough, ladies and gentlemen. But if I pull off this win against this Palkin Kyogre, you guys got to subscribe. If you're already not subscribed. If you made it to the second battle, I, I would be confused why you guys are subscribed or not. He's gonna end up going Tokus and okay, I'm really fine with this. He's gonna end up going Togi Wogi. What's that with that? So I mean I could just fake out the Togus. I could bulk up if I really do. Wait, the bulk up seems nice. Bulk up seems lovely. We don't mind the bulk up. We don't mind the bulk up. So I could fake out and get that bulk up rolling here. That speed, yo, I love that animation. I love that animation. That looks so sick. Attack gonna get boosted. Defense gonna get boosted. So he's gonna flinch here, and then this thing is just gonna go for Earth Power. Ooh, into you. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. At this point, I could just Volt Switch out into you. I could also Drain Punch into this thing to get some HP back. Right? That sounds like a solid turn. And then I can bring out. Can't bring out Garchomp. Cannot bring out Garchomp. I could bring out I could bring out Tokus of my own. Okay, I'm kind of with that. Yeah, I'm gonna drain punch into this thing and we'll switch out. I could have nuzzled him. I'm kind of scared of the what's it called. I am kind of scared of the uh, the gleam coming in here. So I wonder if my Pyrath can eat it up. But we should be at full HP by the time he sends the gleam. So it could be scary. Could be a scary gleam. So Drain Punch gonna fly out here. It's gonna do some big time damage into this Gastron. That's a solid start from us. Solid, solid start from us. Get off that damage and we're hoping that. Oh, he does have Air Slash too. Let's see what he does here. Let's see what he does. Maybe he can miss an attack. He's gonna pop a berry. He could be going into another Earth Power into my Raichu slot this time. That could be an option. We know another Drain Punch takes out the Gastron, which is big. And he is just gonna set up a Reflect. Okay, so I could have Brick Break that. That ain't too bad. Um. It's not too bad. Earth powers can come through here and it does not affect it. Okay, so I want to kind of get out my next Pokemon so I can rip into it, but I feel like we have to double down with Gleam here and go in with another Drain Punch. Did the Gastron slot? Gastron might protect here, but that's fine if he does. That's fine. That is totally fine. We're going to go back to full HP though. Well, back to what we are. This is this is basically full HP because every time we go up to, this, to max HP, we're going to drop it with the life. Focus is a problem here. I would love to break that screen. That reflect is going to be a pain. That reflect is going to be a pain. And I wonder what moves that this Togekiss is rocking. If it's rocking reflect, you never get to see a reflect Togekiss or like a screen's Togekiss. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. But we got our opponent thinking. He doesn't really know what to do. My Pyrath's sitting here plus one on defense, plus one on attack. But we're going up against two special attackers. So let's see what he does. He's going to end up with rolling the Gastro. He's going in the Palkia maybe? The Palks? Gonna be Kyogre. Okay, so good thing we're doubling down into that slot. He's gonna set the rain. He's gonna set the rain. That doubles my speed. I could follow me shots, but again, water spouts probably coming out here. He's gonna follow me his own shots. So he's gonna start protecting this Pokemon. I'm just gonna drop a Drain Punch. So yeah, he Drain Punch gonna come out here. Things gonna also fly. It's tough. This is tough. That reflects doing me dirty. That reflect is doing me dirty. The Gleam's gonna fly here. How much damage is Gleam? 
He did a decent amount of damage. Any crits? One crit? Two crits? Just one crit. Okay, so just one crit. I could follow me the shot. I don't think that there is a point to follow me here. I think we just air slash to finish this thing off and just want to protect this thing. Or I can go for a drain punch here. Hmm. I think I'm just going to protect and try to have this air slash take out so I can drain punch onto the side. So I'm going to protect my Pyrath. Kyogre is such a problem. It is such a problem. I wonder how speed goes. He's going to follow me and I think he's just going to water spout here. So air slash should be able to come out here and finish that Pokemon off. Special attack is going to be high. Water spout's going to come out here. I I think Togi might be able to eat that up. Soak that up, Togi. Soak it up. I love you, Togi. I love you, Togi. Big time soaks from the water spout. Air Slash should be able to finish off this uh, Togi. no problem, right? Cool. We had a crit on top of that, too. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We love it. We love it. We love it. Okay, so now he has Kyogre. We know he has uh, Gastrodon, which I'm not too worried about Gastrodon. I mean, I can drain punch into that, finish it off. Um... Hmm. But now he doesn't have follow me, so I mean I could just punch into this Kyogre. And they collect a lot of the water spout damage. So I am curious to see who he goes into. He gave us the rain, he gave us the speed. I think I'm just gonna follow me a shot. Have Togekiss go down here, eventually bring back out Raichu. Break screens if we have to, and or fake out nuzzle, blah blah blah. Do all that stuff, and then just have guard chomp in the back to kind of clean the battle. Uh, I don't know, it's gonna be tough. It really is gonna be tough, especially if he has Palkia. Palkia is what they call a problem. A huge problem. Huge problem. And I kind of need Togekiss for Palkia. So it makes me kind of want to switch Togekiss now. But at that point, Palkia could just outspeed us. But he's going to go into Gorbis and he shows that he doesn't have Palkia. Okay, so that's good. So Palkia is not here. Swift Swim Gorbis is out and about. Um, I think we just follow me this shot. And we just go into a drink bunch. Because we, again, we are plus one in attack from that bulk up earlier. And we should be able to do a decent amount of damage with it. So, follow me, he's gonna come out here. We know he's water spouting with the Kyogre, so I gotta hit this thing. I gotta hit it, right? Yeah, Pyrath out speeds in the rain. Bang, solid damage. Yo, that Reflect did neglect a lot of it. And we still did a crazy amount of damage. So, we go back up to full. Gorbis, I think Gorbis should be able to outspeed Kyogre because Gorbis is Swift Swim, right? Yes, it is. And he's gonna Ice Beam right into Tokus and drop Tokus. And I'm hoping that this thing's going for a. Uh, I'm hoping that this thing is going for a water spout, right? Well, that thing shows its orb, too. But it's orb. He goes for the water spout. That's fine. That's easy eats for my Pyrath. Pyrath soaks. He outspeeds everybody. I can drain punch anybody the next round. Gets That's all. So at this point, we bring out Raichu. Uh, I think we just fake out the Gorbis, and then we go into a, uh, a drain punch again. Right? I think that's our best bet. Or I could bull switch. I think we just fake out the Gorbis. Or could Brick Brick this turn. I'm just going to fake out the Gorbis and go into a uh, another Drain Punch. So he ends up withdrawing Kyogre. So which all is Kyogre and he has to go into... What Pokemon is this? Gastron. I think we take out Gastron here. No, we don't. We don't take him out. He's going to end up protecting Gorbis. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I can break screens next turn too. If I want to. I could get rid of this screen. I don't think we take out Gastron anymore with Reflect Out and about. But still, yo, Pyra's doing some work. Look at that damage. Look at that damage. Some big time damage. Big time damage, we get a back a bunch of HP, and Pyrath is thriving, yo. I love this set with him. I really do love this set with him. So we still outspeed. Um, I feel like at this point, we just brick break this thing. I can break screens, or I can nuzzle it up. Or I could Volt Switch out. So I can have Fake Out later in the match. I'm gonna Volt Switch out here, and I think I might bulk up, but nah, we're just gonna Drain Punch. Play it simple. Play it simple. We'll let the screens wear out. I doubt that that thing is a, uh, is a Light Clay. Actually, Light Clay's not even in this game, is it? No, it isn't. But I doubt it's a Light Clay Togekiss. I really do doubt it's a Light Clay Togekiss. So the Flux should be gone in just a little bit. We take out the Gastron. Gorbis should still go next. Probably going after my Raichu. That's totally fine. We have Focus Ash, and we are pivoting out with a Bolt Switch. The Surf comes out here. Lovely little Surf. Did it... Why... Whoa. Gorbis! Why you do so much damage? Why you do so much damage, Gorbis? Why you do so much damage, Gorbis? We lose some HP, or he lose some HP. Full switch can come out here. Full switch just takes it out. Yo, that is huge. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. And now Raichu comes back to me. I bring out Garchomp. We are killing it this battle. We are killing it. This guy can bring in Palkia. He can bring in Kyogre. He can bring in whatever legendaries he wants. He's not beating me, my Pyrath. Yo, this Pyrath is thriving. The rain stops. He's gonna bring it back out here. 
That's totally fine. We're going to be able to outspeed again. I'm just going to drop a drain punch into this guy. Here. I'm going to say GG's. I'm going to say GG's. Actually, it probably can soak up uh, at least one of them. At least one lovely drain punch. I mean, we can go into a dragon claw if we want. This match is on wrap. This match is definitely on wrap. Actually, is it on wrap? I should protect. I should protect the. Uh, I should 1,000 percent percent protect the uh, guard chomp here. 1,000 percent protect the guard chomp. I got. I gotta play it safe because I don't really know Kyogre's speed in this game uh, compared to everybody else's. So guard chomp's gonna protect. We're gonna drain punch straight into this thing. Hit it right in its nose. Look at this. Bang! Right in its nose. Oh, and we KO with just that. Beautiful. So Pyrath. Being OP in battle number two, we absolutely dominate this battle. We take out Kyogre with him, and we take out pretty much every other Pokemon with him as well. I get it. I get it. I'm making this game look easy right now. We are dominating. There's nothing better than beating Legendaries with a team without Legendaries. Really gotta love it. And we get to use Pyrat, the Pokemon that we're showcasing, just dominating in today's battles. You gotta love it. But we're hopping into our third and final battle, and we're going up against a really cool team. That Pyrath can actually dominate. We're going up against a Frostlass, a Milotic, a Licky Licky, Crobat, and then he has Infernape and Metagross. So, you know what? There's no excuse not to leave Polyrath and Belper. There's really no excuse not to rock with it. I really do like that lead. I'm digging it. He could lead Milotic, so I feel like we have to bring somebody to kind of counter Milotic in the back end. And Raichu could do work here. Raichu could do work here. Also, Tokus is not too bad. Tokus has a few super effective shots on a few of these Pokemon, but I kind of just want to go like Scissor here. The Scissor's solid. I could lead Scissor. In case he wants to lead the frost has, but nah, you know, the rain squad's where it's at. So I'm gonna bring rain squad, I'm gonna bring scissor, and then final Pokemon. Do I want Raichu, Garchomp, or Togekiss? I feel like they all have some sort of value in this battle, but I feel like we get a bit more out of Garchomp, right? We have the Yachi Berry to kind of counter up onto the frost last. We do some damage on the Milotic. Milotic, probably the only one out of those four that can kind of counter me. Yeah, I'm with Garchomp. Gotta bring, gotta bring big dog Gar. Gotta bring big dog Gar. Gotta do it, we gotta do it. But yo, Polyrath. Low-key fire. Low-key fire. I can't believe I haven't used him earlier. But he's going to end up leading Frostlass. And dude, come on. I just said like I should maybe beat Scissor in case we see a Frostlass. But I mean, this is fine. This is definitely fine. He could set up a Tailwind. I mean, we can just start popping Waterfalls, right? I could bulk up here as well. I could do a clean bulk up. I could do a clean bulk up, but I don't think there's a need to do a bulk up. I really don't see there being a need to bulk up. So you know what? I'm just going to Hurricane. What will do more? Hurricane or Skull? That is tough. Uh, I think Hurricane or Skull will do a bit more. This is Stab, but this gets that boost, too. I mean, I'm just going to double down into Crobat, just in case it's Sash, because I feel like he must like set up a Tailwind. He's going to end up Withdraw on the Frost Lass. So this is a beautiful turn for us. He Withdraws the Frost Lass, and he's going to go into whom? Licky Licky comes out. I'm not worried about Licky Licky. I'm just going to punch that thing. Oh, it does have Cloud 9. That's pretty cool. So Swift Swim's gone. That turn was gorgeous. That turn was gorgeous. That turn was beautiful. I can't, I can't complain. I cannot complain. Wow, Pyrath I thought was gonna thrive here. He just outplayed me. He just outplayed me. It's a beautiful play, but we do get a burn. We'll take that. What a play. I'll give it to him all day. Battle applause for opponent. I always love when our opponents make great plays. It's always, it always just makes the battle 10 times better. But now we dug ourselves a hole. We don't have our Swift Swim Boy. We don't have our fighting Pokemon to take out that Licky Licky. And I feel like we just go into Scissor at this point, right? Start Swords Dancing. Right? I mean, what's Licky Licky really good? It has a fire coverage move. I mean, we're in the rain. We can soak up for a little bit. Um, we'll let the burn start chipping onto Crobat, and we'll just Sword Dance here. I feel like we just go into like a. I feel like we just go into a skull. Look for another burn into this Licky Licky. That's one place. Gonna end up U turn. That's totally fine. So U turns out of here. We soak up all day, and who's he gonna bring out? Do you have any Intimidate Pokemon? He could bring out Fire Monkey. Fire Monkey's problem. Fire Monkey's a problem, but at that point, I just, uh, I just protect that Fire Monkey. No, it's going to be Metagross. I'm fine with Metagross. I'm fine with Metagross. Let's go. Cool. We got first call. Give me another burn. Bring your cross. No burn, but Sword Dance is poking. So we got Sword Dance out here. Licky, Licky, what are you going to do, kind sir? I wonder. I wonder what Licky, Licky's doing. Fire Blast. God dang it, man. Yo, Licky, Licky running us right now. Licky Licky is running us. No bueno. No good. It is no good whatsoever. Okay, uh. It's tough. This is tough. Can Garchomp get the comeback? Can Garchomp get the comeback? I mean, we have to drop an EQ here, even though I think he's gonna swap to Metagross into like Crobat. 
I think it's fine. I mean, I actually think he is going to do that. So I'm just going to Sword Dance here. He, dude, Licky Licky has all the moves, though. Kind of pain. Licky Licky does have all the moves. Um, I am just going to scroll this slot just in case he wants to swap that Crobat. I'm going to go for another Sword Dance because I need to set up if I'm going to win. I need to set up if I'm going to win this match. I need to set up if we're going to win. So I got to go for the Sword Dance. Licky Licky just has all the tricks up his sleeve. We're hoping he doesn't have an Ice move. But we do have a Yachi Berry to kind of soak it up. But dude, I was sitting there, he cloud nine me, got rid of my polyrath, and then he fire blast coverage onto my scissor and took me out. So he ends up protecting Licky Licky. I'm cool with that turn. What are you doing with that uh Metagross here? What are you doing with that Metagross? We are sword dance here. What are you doing with that Metagross? If Helper out so we didn't get a burn on that, that could be big news. That could be big news if you can get a burn on this thing. Burn him up. Burn him up with Skull. Woo! Big time burn. Big time burn. And of course he has the Lumberry. God dang it, man. <laughs> Lumberry comes out here. What's he rocking with? Go for a Meteor Mash. Go with the Pelper. Cool. I like that turn. Now I'm Sword Dance here. And he's going to get that attack boost. That's fine. That's fine because if he stays in here, he dies his EQ. And then we just Scald into that slot too. Just in case he wants to swap the crow. I am fine with that. So EQ. Flying. We have a shot at this. We definitely have a shot at this. We can just go into a hurricane. It's no, we're gonna scold here. We're gonna scold. But we definitely have a shot at winning this battle. He could protect Metagross. He withdraws Licky Licky. Okay, he withdraws Licky Licky slot. And this is still fine. Is that Crobat? That's still fine because Garchomp outspeeds everybody. Okay, he protects. Never mind. Not a good turn. He swaps, but again, what do we do here? We have to just keep popping EQs, right? We just have to keep popping EQs. You have to keep popping EQs, but I'm surprised he swapped the Licky Licky slot. That is surprising. He's going to get some leftovers HP, or is that Black Sludge? It's going to be Black Sludge, and then he's going to take some burn damage, so. I'm fine with that. So, EQ going to come out here. I'm just going to scroll across. I don't think Crobat can take out any of my Pokemon. He's burned, too. I think we're chilling here. I really do think we're going to win this battle with the Sword Dance set up here. I am digging it. I am digging it. I doubt he swaps the Metagross, right? There's no shot he swaps the Metagross. He's gonna go for Brave Bird. Again, he's burned. That should be easy soaks for us all day. He's gonna get rough skinned and recoil damage to take him out, too. Oh, yeah. Get him on out of here. Get him on out of here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We'll get rid of Metagross. No problem here. And, dude, like I said, I think we're gonna be thriving with this battle. I really do. I think we're gonna win this battle. Licky Licky can't do too much. Garchomp Sword Dance plus two. We're gonna be thriving here. And I can freely EQ with Pelper on the board on our side. Not bad, jeans. Not bad. Not bad so far. It really depends who his last Pokemon is. I'm not worried about the... I'm not worried about the what's called at all. The Licky Licky at all. Not in the slightest. I'm not worried about it. it really comes down to who is his last Pokemon. If it's... Who's it gonna be? It's gonna be Licky Licky... Oh, wait. It's Frost Eyes. We know it's Frost Eyes. Uh, yeah. I gotta get after this Frost Eyes. I gotta EQ. And I gotta double down into Frost Eyes. So I'm not dealing with it. We still have a Yachi Berry now. Yachi Berry is going to work wonders. I'm going to do that. I am going to Scald and double down with the Frost Slice slot. The solid place. Frost Slice could have Ice Shard. Just for an Icy Wind. Just for an Icy Wind. So he's going he's gonna to get some speed here. He gets some speed. I don't think... Can Licky Licky take out any of these guys? He might be able to. I mean, can Garchomp still outspeed? I feel like Garchomp still outspeeds Licky Licky all day, right? All right Licky Licky's a slow little booger. Yachi Berry definitely helping us out there. And now we're going to pop that Citrus Berry, and we're going to get some HP back for my Paloops. So I feel like my Pokemon should still be able to outspeed Licky Licky. Yep, Garchomp goes first. EQ should probably take out Frost Lance, maybe not Licky Licky. Brings Frost Lance down to Sash, and we're doubling down into it. I think Pelper can outspeed him here as well. Curse Body Commander. So no more EQs, that's fine. And Pelper does outspeed. That's GG's. That is GG's. Let's go. Let's go, people. We get a crit just to rub it in. Solid third and final battle. Yo, he outplayed us in the beginning. Got rid of two of our very strong Pokemon. Oh, he's going to knock me out. Oh, dude, don't you dare do that. But yeah, it's GG. But yeah, he made some solid plays. He swapped into the Cloud9 perfectly to dodge Swift Swim. Brave Bird into my Polyrath, dumped on it one hit, and then took out my Scissor with Fire Blast. But you know, your boy never quits. Your boy popped a nice little Swords Dance with Garchomp and the comeback. And we get that comeback, which is awesome. Look at that. Look at that. Is he going to cancel battle? He is not. Dragon Call flies here. GG's. Let's go. Let's go. 3-0 for today's video. Polyrath was absolutely amazing. 
Like I said, at the end of the third battle, Polyrath was absolutely amazing. I think he definitely exceeded expectations. I didn't think he was this strong. Granted, I never really used him before, but just got the showcase of power of him. He dominated in that reign and dominated all three battles. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread spots every day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.